Hello everyone. We will continue the topic. We finished with layout, logic part, total part, everything till the last video. Now we will run this smart form and we will check the output. I am running this smart form. This is the test button. I'm running this smart form independently. And you can see this is the major, major conclusion of the topic. Whenever you are running a smart form, every smart form generates a function model. Every smart form generates a function module. And you can see this is not our function module because name is not starting with Z. SAP automatically generates this function module and this function module is generated at the runtime. Whenever you are running the smart form, every smart form is generating a function module. If I will display this function module, if I will go to import tab, you can easily see this is the import which you gave in the form interface of the smart form. And you can see same to same thing is in the function module of the smart form. See, these all are other parameters. And if you see the smart form in the form interface, these all are the parameters which automatically appeared into the function module of the smart form as every smart form is generating a function module. We have these export parameters, these exceptions, so whenever you will run the smart form in the function module of the smart form, all things are here. Import, same to same import, same to same export, same to same exception. So this is very, very important concept that every smart form is generating a technical object. That technical object is your function module and it is totally a replica of your smartphone. I am running this function module and I will give the input. I'll just wait. It is taking time to display. Now I will give the input as order number because order number is the input to the smart form. I will click on to execute. Now, if you in the real world also, whenever you want to take a print preview or whenever you want to see a print preview or whenever you want to take a print we always require a device. We always require a device. So we will choose output device from the F4 help. I will choose LP01. Okay, suppose this is the device. I will go for print preview. I'll check the print preview. And you can see this is the output of, this is our layout. This is our layout. First window, order details. Second window, order number, value of order number. Third window, header details. Fourth window, header details, values, order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. Fifth window, item details. Sixth window, we have the item data. And you can see this is our item data. We have multiple items. This is header part of the table. This is main area of the table. And this is the footer of the table in which we displayed the 
total with which we displayed the total. So this is the way how you can run the smart form. And the most important part is every smart form generates a function module. Now, next thing, customer will never, never run the smart form. Customer will always, always run the program. It means we have to call this smart form inside a program because see, just think from customer perspective, will customer go to smart form transaction code? Will customer run the smart form? Will customer run the function module of the smart form? Will customer give the input and pass the device and check the output? See, there's a very, 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 so many steps are there. So what, whenever we are creating this smart form, we have to create a program because customer will simply run the program and we will call our smart form through that program. So we will start with creation of a program. So our next topic is how to call a smart form from a program. Many times people will simply, simply use the word how to call a smart form from a driver program. If someone is using that term driver program or if someone is using that term how to call a smart form from a program one and the same thing i will create a program i will give some name to the program suppose z smart form driver program and I gave some serial number. I will click on to create button. Calling of smart form from the driver program. I will choose the type as executable program because I will execute this program. I will save this program as a local object. I will take a input to this program and we know our input is order number. How you can give a input to the program through parameters because we have a single order number. So I will take a parameter because parameter accept a single value. P underscore O number type data element of order number. I will simply go for go to text element selection text and I will give that description to this P underscore O number. Suppose P underscore O number is order number. I will activate. I will run this program. So now my input is ready. I will give a input as order number to this program and we will call now our smart form in this particular program. Now, we cannot call a smart form directly here. We cannot call a smart form directly here. We can call the smart form through the function module of the smart form. We will call the smart form through the function module of the smart form. So what I will do, I will simply, simply run my smart form.
and this is the function module of the smart form i will copy the function module of the smart form and you all know we can call a function module through pattern button and i will press enter most important points you can see in the smart form all these are importing parameters if you see all these are importing here these all appeared as exporting we have three exporting here we have three importing we have exceptions we have exceptions so now whatever the input you will give to the program we will pass this input to the function module of the smart form but the best practice is always always uncomment the exceptions because if some exception is coming you can clearly understand i will check the syntax and activate so simple you cannot call a smart form inside the program you can call the smart form through the function module of the smart form so whatever the input you will give this input will pass to the function module of the smart form here it is exporting it means whenever it will go to the function module of the smart form it will treat as importing and it will display the output suppose if i am running this program i will give order number as 1 if i will go for execute you can see same to same thing is here i will choose the output device and i will go for print preview and this is the output of the smart form rest part of this topic will continue in the next video thank you